Hello fellow commanders and welcome to another Strategic Command World War One with me Bubble Box. It's August 15th 1914 and we're still in the early stages of uh, our kind of opening moves. I'm putting most of my efforts currently into Sarajevo. We're going to end the turn and just see what the AI has up its sleeves before we move forward with our turn. I have turned the mu background music up a little bit just to create a little bit more ambience as it did seem a little bit low. Just tell me if it's too high though. This is a bit of a funny game when it comes to volume. And if you turn it up just a touch in the settings, it tends to turn it up a lot in the game. So just let me know if that's too loud or if it's okay. So let's end the turn, end our turn and see what the AI is going to do for, I think is it second turn now? Oh, actually we've got a decision to do first. Chief of the General Staff, Baron Conrad von Wagenheim, our ambassador to the Ottoman Empire, reports from Constantinople that the Ottoman army is not yet ready for war and that large sums of money, oh hello, here we go, will need to be spent on it to bring it up to an acceptable standard. <coughs> Excuse me. Improving the Ottoman army will cost 250 for four turns that is quite a lot but i think we're definitely gonna say yes again i think a bit of a no-brainer so let's say yes to that the ottomans are impressed so they're going to come into the into the war a little bit sooner than they would have uh, Chancellor Konrad von Hotzendorf, the Polish Supreme National Committee are offering their services in our fight against Russia and Joseph Pidzinski is proposing to raise a Polish legion for services in our army. So we're going to get another service army uh, detached at half strength. Would you like to improve the resident? 30 MPPs a turn for two turns and that's for the Austrian-Hungarians. Well, again, a no-brainer. The more units we have, the better. The UK protests against German naval move. Well, really? Did we move it? Oh, we moved that sub, didn't we? That might be why. That might have been a mistake. We did move a sub up into the North Sea. So maybe we shouldn't have done that. That means the Brits will come in a little bit sooner. French mobilisation continues. So that's fine. They'll be getting a few more units. As will the Russians, I expect. Siberian and Turkestan units arrive in Moscow. Okay, that's more units for the uh, Russians. German mobilizations. Oh, we're going to get a few more in the well, in our Western Front. Three more cores. Four more cores. Five more cores. That's very... Six more cores. Very nice indeed. And we're going to get a few more Austro-Hungarians as well. Two more cores there in the East for us for the Austro-Hungarians. So that's cool. There's our little summary of the MPPs we're getting for this turn. So now we're going to get some attacks. Finally. So we've got these two cavalry units down here. I wonder what they're going to do. Oh, so the Serbians just reinforced their little core, little set of units in Belgrade. And our subs got attacked by the Russian de uh, destroyers. I think that's two Russian destroyers near Helsinki now. And uh, now the Russians start to attack in the east, as expected. I've got an exposed unit there, so I hope that doesn't get killed. Cavalry moving around, shuffling around their units a little bit. Serbians just again reinforced. I think they're called detachments now, not garrisons. Reinforcing their detachments. And here come the French. I want them to come forward so we can do them some damage and then so that we can, re can uh, counter-attack. Luckily, our unit pulled back there attacking into our fort as well which is going to do them a lot of damage i don't think we'll lose that unit oh actually he's down to five health though okay memel i'm expecting to lose memel probably eventually but we'll hold on there as long as we possibly can and the austro-hungarians getting attacked quite heavily by the russians over on the eastern front we did lose that little uh, oil field the national morale objective but i kind of planned on doing that anyway uh, Tarno attacked, not doing us too much damage. Memel attacked again. As long as we do the Russians a bit of damage, because that's only a detachment they're attacking, so it doesn't lose us a lot of MPPs, but it's certainly losing them, M uh, sorry, yeah, MPPs and morale, of course. Uh, yep, French are attacking. That's excellent. You might not think it's excellent, but believe me, it's excellent. The French are attacking us down there in the south of France. The Russians doing their best. Oh, this unit's a little bit low. Oh, that's the one I was worried about at the start. And we've lost a unit. Okay, so that's our first loss of the war there. Our core 
Foster Run Caring Corps. Hopefully I can get that back up and running at half price if that was in full supply or in good supply. Our cavalry are under attack now. They're down to six health. And oh, that's held out quite well, that detachment in the fort. Another attack by the cavalry unit. Again, it holds out very nice indeed. Okay, French is shuffling around as are the Russians. Another attack perhaps, or they're just I think they're just moving stuff around right now. Yeah. Hmm, a couple of uh, commanders there. I think that's going to be about it. We'll get on with our turn. A little bit of reinforcing going on, I think, or they're trying to. Hopefully the Serbians can't reinforce too much, although they do look... If they have reinforced their detachments in the towns. The UK protests against Germany. Yeah, we might pull that sub back or actually get it out. Oh, the UK's in already. Okay, okay. Might, we might have been able to delay the UK one more turn if we'd managed to... Um, if we didn't put that sub up into the North Sea, perhaps. But we did that. Well, I don't know. didn't realise that would happen. But Okay, we lost one call then for the Austro-Hungarians. And uh, UK's in. So we're going to have to attack Belgium now, I think. Entente's naval blockade of Germany. Okay, all that says is, I know what that says, that these units, these here, which says northern blockade, means if the Brits put um, units in there, they're going to blockade Germany and do us national morale damage. And the same over here, distant blockade. The distant blockade has slightly less, has less effect than this blockade. Now, I don't know how much effect. If there's anyone watching that does know, they can let me know whether each, each ship on here has like minus one national morale each turn on Germany and this has 0.5 or something like that. I don't know, but it would be interesting to know and useful to know as well. So if anyone does know, please post that in the comments below. But we are going to start where I want to put most of my MPPs and most of my efforts at the moment, which is attacking down in Serbia. Now, they have reinforced quite heavily. We've got an artillery piece down here now. I'm going to show you how the new um, bomber and artillery uh, mechanic works at the start here. So we've got a recon bombers in now. It's only a half strength one. It's only five strengths. So we haven't buffed it up yet. But we're going to bomb into Valjevo, where they've got this um, unit down here, first of all. And then when we do that, you'll see that it's got a, a red hex appears outside. This means that our artillery are now 50% more effective than they would have been if this recon bomber hadn't attacked into that hex. So that's quite a nice addition to the game. So we'll attack with it. Well, now I know this is only at half strength as well, but we will attack with it. It'll get its morale down. I think, I don't know how many shells we've got. We'll fire all our shells in there. You can fire as many shells as you've got in stock. And I think you recover shells. I think it's one or two per turn. And then as you research artillery shells and stuff, that goes up as well per turn. So a bit of a bombardment in there. They should be really easy to take out now, I'm hoping. Oh, actually, they're not that easy to take out. Oh, a 1-3 there, actually, and a 1-2. Although, I, yeah, we'll leave Belgrade a bit longer to try to... And we'll try to kill the units around it, first of all, probably. So we'll do that where we can get three off this guy. I should take Voljevo in this turn. And I'll move in with my German units. Or shall I just attack again here, maybe? Hmm, can we bring this German... Oh, I can bring this German unit down, actually, to there. And we'll attack there. We've got our German commander there as well. That's nice. That's better. That's more like it. And then I'll attack... I'd like to use that to attack the Serbians there. So I will move just this here. We might not be able to move into Valjevo on this turn, can we? Maybe maybe better to move in with the Aust No, we're moving with the German unit. So that's Valjevo down. We'll move our artillery piece forward a little bit. As well. I'd rather go down towards Utic with the artillery piece, actually. Um, what I'll do, I might swap move that commander I don't want them to be able to actually if they come out and attack my artillery piece I'm not that bothered because that means they're out of usage so we'll do that move our German commander forward so that's that taken now we need to do them as much damage as possible now so let's see we need some, some sort of advantageous attack here 
two two there two two there a one two there let's do that first maybe take that down I'm wondering whether just to encroach all the way down push all the way down there let's just go down one slot see if we can take this guy out not quite oh yes we have taken it out can I get into there I can wow that's brilliant in fact I'm gonna go in with this guy so that's Uzich taken nice nice um, I can actually move that down another space or I could dig him in there let's just think about that we can move this guy in as well for an attack all right let's see oh not very advantageous so we're gonna oh I can't entrench either so we'll leave that one I'm gonna probably want to try and do this guy some damage I'm not gonna or shall I attack we're not attack Belgrade yet let's see what supply it's on supply eight yeah, I know it's I know maybe I should have attacked Belgrade earlier, but no, yeah, let's just keep plugging away at these this core, I think. Yeah, we'll attack this core with our nine the health unit. We're gonna take some damage though. We'll attack again. Down to six health. We'll pull that back. We'll move in with our other unit. I am taking losses here, but I expect to take losses. We've got to take the Serbians out and we've got a one one there, which I'm gonna take as well. So a lot of losses for that unit and because he's adjacent to my units he's not going to be able to reinforce very efficiently so I think that's about everything we have taken Vol two units out taken Udic and Voljevo in that turn which I think is pretty good here probably not worth attacking I'm going to actually I'll leave that kind of where it is they might attack me and do themselves some damage I'll move my plane a little bit closer uh, now I have got um, no, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's everything. Now, the other thing I want to do is I'm thinking of... I was thinking of bringing this other recon bomber down, but I think I'll leave that other recon bomber. Uh, or shall I... I'm going to... No, I was thinking of taking that down to Serbia as well, but I think I've got enough down in Serbia now. Yeah. So I'm pretty pleased with that turn down there. Let's head over to... We might reinforce this sub as well got our mine down there protecting our fleet so let's head up to the western front so the French are attacking we're gonna to have to declare against Belgium this turn because the Brits are in so we'll do that right now we'll attack into Belgium so that'd be quite exciting so let's see where Belgium 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 declare war yes right so the UK joins the Entente because they were 100% mobilised, I'm sure, because uh, we put that stupid sub up there. In fact, what should we do? Should we do I'm going to leave that sub there to try and catch their units. I might try and sneak it a bit closer, actually. I'll leave it there. They might bump, kind of bump into it when they're trying to blockade. And I can keep an eye on them if they've tried to blockade and think about using my fleet to stop them doing that. But anyway, let's um, continue down here. We've got to attack into Brussels. First thing we've got to do is get rid of this unit in Liège. Um, I'll use this bomber. This is a recon bomber. We haven't got any artillery around there at the moment but we will attack straight into here, do three damage and we need to get rid of that. So we'll bring this one down from up top. Get rid of that and try and move in there with one of these two units which I can't in fact I could move up to there but I don't want to do that because it will expose the Brussels unit and will cause me to have a bit of damage so we'll move it just to there oh, and there we expose the Brussels unit so that's good so now we need to attack into Brussels with infantry first I've got my cavalry as well back there I can use so two damage hopefully if we could get Brussels it would be amazing I'm not sure if we'll do it this turn we've got another infantry unit we can reach with Another two damage down to four. Don't think I can get another infantry. Oh, I can get another infantry unit. It's only an eighter though. I think that's going to be worth. I don't want to lose that though. If they counterattack, um, I've got my horses as well. Then it means I'll have to go all the way to Liège. About this guy. Oh, this guy. This is a ten health that can reach as well. Yeah, we'll use that one. Take that industrial complex as well. Three damage. Oh, only two. That's a shame. Um, now then I've got my two cavalry pieces I don't think there's anything on Lille you know I think that would have shown up let's move this cavalry piece up nope nothing on Lille and we've taken Brussels down 
cool. Now I need to try and get a unit on to Brussels. Which I can get the cavalry unit, but I was thinking of moving that. Oh, if I move, I can move through Brussels and on to Lille. But it'd be nice to get another unit onto Brussels, and I can. I can get that eight unit. That's Brussels taken. And Lille or the industrial unit? I think we'll go for Lille with our cavalry. Because the British British Expeditionary Force hasn't actually arrived yet. So that's looking pretty good. We've got a nice breakthrough going on there with our cavalry. Cavalry are great, are actually very are actually useful in this game. They weren't at all useful it really in Strategic Command World War II. But in this game they're gonna be much more useful because you can kind of do breakthroughs and they've got good recon and stuff, better than the infantry, so they're gonna be a unit that's actually gonna be useful. So that's a good improvement, I think. Uh, now we have got more down here. Right, I think we need to concentrate on killing some more French now. And we can deal with hopefully Antwerp and move up towards Ypres in the next turn. Yeah. Ah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Good. We'll move up. We do need a commander a bit closer. So we'll move a commander down onto Aachen. Shall we? Yeah. Move a, and we'll move these other units as and when we need to. Now then, the French. We need to do them as much damage and push into the Ardennes as much as we can as well. So I'm just going to kind of move these forward as much as I can. I'm going to move that one up to there. And I don't want to be using lots of MPPs up here. I want to be using them down in Serbia. I can move this one forward to there. That gives us a kind of a frontish line there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I only want to do them damage if I don't take a lot of damage back next turn. So we can attack out of this. I can even attack there and do two damage with my five unit. Let's do that first. Start down the south here. Move that back then. <gasps> ooh, ooh, can't. Ooh, that's not so good. I need to get that out of there now. I could swap, but I would rather just try and get rid of this unit. I'm going to have to... Oh, no. That's a pain. That is a pain. Going to have to get that out anyway. So I'm going to have to move this one. This 7-1 forward, I think. Oh, can I get my cavalry? I can get my cavalry in there, actually. Let's do that, because they're 10 health, you see. And then we'll do some damage. Oh, I still won't be able to get that out, though, will I? Oh, freaking idiot. I can now, because I can move that forward to there. Get that back into the Black Forest. Okay, good. And then I'll move... A 10 strength unit down here and do some damage to that. Okay, that works. And then hopefully I can... I'll swap that out now. Finish that guy off. I want to leave that cavalry unit at uh, 10 health if I can. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Didn't really need to move that cavalry unit there, did I? Alrighty. Okay, now then not favorable because that's dug in so I'm not going to really attack into there I'm going to attack this one though bit of damage and then I'll pull that back hopefully then we can throw a 10 level into there and we'll try attack again I am in a, a fortified position so even though I go down to 8 health I should be okay so we'll whack that into there uh, now it's tempting to go in with the horse and finish that off but, or I could go down to here. I could even set a front line there. If I can get three units across there, that's one. Hmm. Hmm, not sure about this. Yeah, let, let's throw this unit here. I'd like to finish that off. That, that's another call down for the French. And then we can kind of we'll set kind of a front line here. I need to try and get a unit in there if I can. Although I don't have to. I mean, oh, not even my cavalry unit will go in there. Hmm, that's a pain. Um, okay, okay. It's not worth attacking here at all. What about this one up from up here. No, nothing's going to go in that gap, is it? Alrighty, okay, so what we'll do here, we'll leave it there, I think, but we'll try and dig in if we can. Anything that can entrench is going to entrench. Nothing can entrench, really. What about you? Nope, nope. 
I'd like to entrench my horses. Nope, nothing's got entrenched values. Okay, we'll move this one forward. Alrighty, that can entrench. Alright, good. And I'm going to move my leader onto Strasbourg. I'm going to move this leader down into this industrial complex. I'm move my infantry forward to there. I'll leave that cavalry unit where it is. That can come in on the action if it needs to. We'll bring up these infantry from back here. Just check I haven't got anything to uh, be able to entrench over here. I don't think so. They've all used their points up. Yeah, that one's used its points up. Yeah, okay, that's kind of it then. I think for the Western Front... Um, I'll think about maybe reinforcing stuff. I've got nothing. I could pull that. I'm going to put that one back a bit. Could put a bit of room up there and bring the horses forward. Yeah, cool. Pull that one back and bring that commander forward a little bit. Yeah, I think that's about it for the Western Front. Um, done Serbia. Over to... Let's do the ships before I forget. Now, we've got a couple of destroyers up here for sure. Was it Helsinki it was near? I think it was near Helsinki. Um, let's take a peek with our sub. Okay, enemy contact. Took some damage. Don't do any back. Okay, uh, I can get that out. And I can whack a dreadnought in there to do some damage. Is that a cruiser, actually? No, it's a destroyer. Should be able to do a lot of damage to that, actually. So let's, I'm going to take my, um, my big ships up there. Six damage, yeah, very nice. Oh, and he's moved back. I could bring another one in. Let's not be too adventurous. Finish that off, hopefully. Oh, very nice. Gives us 175 national morale bonus as well. And then what I can do is, because I reckon they're going to come out and attack me now, I'm going to pull that back. And I'm going to pull this back if I can. And I'm going to try to entice them out into a mine. How many mines have we got? Three. Okay, we'll move forward with our destroyer. I'm going to throw a mine in that gap. Can I put mines in their ports? Are you serious? That would be weird. Okay, I'm not sure I can actually put mines. Oh, I only could put two mines down. Ow. Damn, I thought I could put three. Where's my other destroyer? Oh, yeah, I can put another mine down. Why could that? Maybe it's the ship can only put one mine at a time. Okay, let's pull that. Oh, I can't pull it back either. Damn, so it could be attacked out of there. A revel. So we've got, we've got a destroyer a little bit exposed, but hopefully they'll do themselves some damage over there. So we're going to move the rest of our fleet forward. I'm hoping the rest of the Russian fleet will make an appearance so that we can destroy it pretty much. I'll bring these guys a bit closer. They're under strength, so I'm going to be a little bit careful with them. But I'm going to bring them forward anyway. Our two battleships only at strength 7, but I don't want to be buffing them with MPPs just yet. I want to spend that on research. And we've got, we'll leave that 6 health down there. Now then, the Eastern Front, we're going to be a bit more defensive. So we'll start up here with the Germans. So Memel is pretty much gone, to be honest. Um, I'm just wondering whether to try and hold on for one more turn. It will be, we'll, be, we'll lose this unit, but I think it's worth the sacrifice. We'll better use, move this ship, though, out of Memel. And then these guys are going to be under a lot of pressure as well, as are these two. Um, these two are dug in already. Um, so I'm just going to kind of leave them where they are. I'm not gonna, probably not going to bother attacking. Although that's a favourable, but I'm going to leave them dug in. Um, entrenched one. I am going to spend some MPPs on this guy though in Allenstadt. Yeah, we'll reinforce him. Or them. And I'll bring my commander uh, just a, one more space forward. This guy I'm just going to... I bet he's got a good attack as well. Wow, yes he has. Look at that. I'm going to attack that. It means I won't be able to dig him in, but hopefully he can survive the next turn. 
And that might be worth a little bit of an attack as well, to be honest. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to do it. Takes him down to two. He's going to have to pull that back. He's not going to be able to attack with it. And that's only exposed by one hex. So hopefully they'll both survive. And maybe I should have dug them in, but I'm not going to. Right, down here, we definitely need to probably reinforce this guy. Oh, he's got good attack. Look at that. Oh, they're such good attacks. Can I bring this guy forward? I can. Let's bring him forward. I'm going to do the other attack here. I'm going to actually... Although he's got favourable, I'm going to dig this... I'm a bit worried this horse is going to go around the outside. I'm actually going to attack there. Do that to uh, cavalry units and damage. I'm wondering if I can get these... Yeah, I can get these marines down. And I'll put them into Bromberg, which is a national morale objective. And I hope they'll survive. They're only at strength 5. I uh, could bring po this guy from Posen up as well to protect a little bit. But I'll leave him there. That's fine. Also got this bomber, which I'm sending down to towards Serbia. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to attack with... That's tempting, isn't it? I'll lose one point. I'm going to do one attack there. I can't help myself. What took one damage? I'm hoping they'll survive. Oh, tempting, tempting. Yeah, let's do it. Down to five. Uh, there. So they're an eight and a nine. Okay, okay. Now then, down here, I'm not going to be attacking. I could go forward for a peek here at lots. Yeah, let's move one forward. Is there anything in lots? There is. Okay, I could move up to there. I mean, it's only a garrison. It's only a, like a little garrison thing. Let's move up there and see if they respond. And I think I can entrench as well. So that's cool. Let's do that. Oh yes, let's entrench any units we can entrench. All right, they're all done. Okay, over here for the Austro Austrian. Uh, sorry, the Austro-Hungarians. That's definitely worth an attack there. Take that down. Now I could finish that off maybe with some cavalry. Let's do that in a second. He's down to six health. I might do a shoot and scoot with this guy. Do some damage and then scoot away. Yep, let's do that. Be the damage and then we'll pull him back. And we'll put another one in his position. Let's do some... Let's hit, hit up there. Nice, if I could finish this guy off actually. Yes, very nice. Right, we've still got this chap here that hasn't uh, fucked yet. Now we're getting attacked quite hard over here it looks like. We've got two cavalry units. This one's only on a six health. I might pull back here a little bit actually. Because I could get this one down to here. Pull this cavalry unit actually back to Columera and dig it in. Entrench. Okay, that's going to hold all this mass of units from coming through. I don't think I can entrench this guy. Oh, I can. Let's entrench here as well then. Cool. Uh, that might be worth a bit of an attack as well. Yeah, we'll do that. This guy's low, but we can... Oh, I can't reinforce him. Damn it. I don't want to lose him. I'm going to pull him back. In fact, I could... I think I can swap him from that, this cavalry unit. Yeah, okay, that's good. And he's got in, in an entrenched position as well. Although I haven't attacked this guy. I would like to finish this guy off. And I might use this one. Liz Krakow undefended. If they come down into there. But I'm going to take that chance. Because I want to try and finish this guy off here. Which I do, so that's very nice. Probably not going to advance across. Oh, shall I? No, I'll leave that one there. And uh, this commander, I'll just pull one forward. Okay, so that's kind of the eastern front, kind of done, I think. So now we're on to spending our MPPs ready for next turn. Right, I want to just get this submarine for the Austro-Hungarians up to full health, because that's going to be useful. I'm not going to do the rest of the ships yet. I want to do 
Um, I don't think there's anything else I can reinforce the, uh, here because I've kind of moved them all. So next for the Austro-Hungarians is to do some research. And we're going to keep plugging away at infantry. Or shall we do some spying and intel? Uh, I've got 103. Let's put, put one into spying and intel for those. And for the Germans, um, again, I don't think we need to... This, we have to spend any MPPs on anything apart from research if we can help it. Yeah, so let's just spend on research for the Germans as well. Um, let's try and get that spying and intel done as fast as possible. We'll put another tick into infantry warfare. And we'll put a tick into trench warfare. In fact, we'll put two ticks into trench warfare. So that gets the... Uh, the um, research rolling for the Germans and the Austro-Hungarians as well. Nothing to do with the Ottomans. They're not in yet. Let's just check we've done everything. I think so. Yeah. So, pretty good. Let's uh, see what happens in Belgium and Serbia in the next turn. Thank you all very much for watching. hope you're enjoying this. If you do, please do give me a like or a thumbs up or whatever it's called. Uh, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.